Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new. Tweet, photos, videos, hashtags. Let me share some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube. Are you passionate about sales? Do you have commissioned sales experience in broadcasting and entertainment? Join the A Better Broadcasting and Media Sales Team. Submit your resume to abetterentertainment at gmail.com. Visit abetterbroadcastingandmedia.com. For more information, call 346-335-2861. Follow us on all social media platforms at 92KLZ. Opinions stated by various contributors to 92KLZ, its website and its radio programs are not to be considered as endorsed by A Better Broadcasting Media and A Better Entertainment LLC. Visitors are urged to use their own discernment to draw their own conclusions. We emphasize the importance of keeping an open mind and not construing the data, products, and or services as factual. You're not tuned into the garage apartment. We back in here again. To the garage apartment. Sports talk and entertainment with your favorite partners, favorite partners. I am the funky militant of Dar Jones. And as always, got the tribe with me. Ain't gonna be no yay yay today. Cause my boy D Mac is out. So we gonna hold it down for him. But I have three-fourths of the garage apartment with me. So let them know who you are. The boy, Mom Mizzle, and them. I mean, uh, sorry. Mom Mizzle's here. Yeah. I can't hear myself. Okay. There's no way every week we got to go through this. I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself. Nah, I'm good. Turn me up in the headphones, Guru. Yes, indeed, we're here each and every Sunday night. I bought that bass. From 6 to 7, since we spend the time. <laughs> Be sure to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegaragebt.com. For those of y'all who went to Facebook, about maybe five, six minutes. <laughs> so just go to 92kills.com yeah, and listen to it. Uh, <laughs> I brought the horns, guru. It's got an update. Oh, my goodness. So now, if you got any calls, any questions, concerns, hit us up at 713-849-0688. Wrong. Sorry, it's 713-489-0688. What did I say? 849. Oh, maybe that's why we ain't getting no calls. So let me try it again. Hit us up at 713-489-0688. I brought the horns, guru. I don't... <laughs> Hustle, I brought the horns, baby. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm, I'm, that's my Jay-Z take. I'm actually tired. I'm fighting off delirium here, man. Anyway. Yeah, you sound like... Yeah, I know. I'm probably talking crazy. Anyway, gentlemen, how was y'all's week, man? Man, it is finally here, ladies and gentlemen. What is that? What is this you're speaking of, sir? The school year is over. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> we have all survived. Yeah, because we had to listen to your countdown every hey, Sunday hey, for about hey, a month. We here now. <laughs> We yes, out here, yes, summertime, indeed. summertime. So let me say congratulations to all our graduates, all the graduates listening, all our graduate listeners, all of those in college, high school, elementary, middle school, uh, pre-K and kindergarten promotions. Congra- <laughs> congratulations to you all. Uh, uh, nah, they make everything a graduation. I know, I know right? It, it's not. My kids ask for stuff, and I was like, "You, you going to the third grade? You didn't graduate." <laughs> <laughs> you still got gay yeah, grades to go to. About? What you talking about? And I went to the little the award ceremony, and people were bringing flowers and balloons. Oh and boy! I'm That's why these know, kids, man. you know, they, it's not a graduation. Yeah, I had a sixth grade class, and they're the last class that on on our campus, and they were like, "Are we doing anything?" I was like, "No." Yeah. <laughs> they were like, "Why?" I said, "For what?" 
What y'all did? Yeah, I was gonna say, what did you do? <laughs> My daughter got class comedian. Oh, <laughs> for real? Ooh, oh. That was one of her awards. I was oh, like, really? That's man. what you're doing? That's uh, like, I don't know how to feel about that. I was like, like the teacher. I was like, what are you, really? Team Unicorn you out say there. Clowning. Everybody. Team Unicorn. That, she actually being shady kind of sort yeah. Class comedian, that's the nice way of saying class clown. Dang. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Team I, Unicorn out there. I went on a trip. field trip with him when she was in kindergarten, and then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, my baby's so. She be my capping on them. Started. She gets it started. Yeah, she be she capping on them. So how do you really yeah. feel about that, though? I mean, I, I, I think I would be a little uncomfortable. What about you? I don't know. She was doing a little fun stuff. I'm talking about the, the teacher. I don't know. I mean, I, at first, I was like, really? I mean, she got other awards. You know, okay. Don't get me wrong. Academic award. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best yeah. grave digger. I don't mind you clowning as long up. as you performing too. Best grave digger. <laughs> That's guess. just me. Like you can't be the class clown and the class dunce. Yeah. Like you gotta be the class clown and the straight A. Yeah, student. usually that's how it is though. Yeah. But nah, you know, you know what I say? I say, you know what? Her personality will get her way further than math ever will. And she's pretty. So. Okay. Well. All right. You don't think your baby's pretty? I, I think she's gorgeous, <laughs> and I don't know how to feel about that. About as far as what? Her using her looks to, to get ahead? Uh, I hope she does. Man, I'm going to teach my use, every, use it all, boo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who run the world, girls? Who run yeah. the world, girls? Use it all, goddamn. Yeah, but I guess if you combine that with the per, but I, the thing I, I say, even in school, like, you got to learn everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you might not use geometry. I mean, everything they're learning now in second or third grade, you know, you need that. But after that, you really got to know pre-calculus. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you know pre-calculus or trigonometry and you ain't got no uh, personality, I can't deal with you. That's why I see students So, So, away. you're saying you don't want her to be a nerd? I don't care. If she's a nerd, I, I'd be fine with it, but I'm... I, I'm glad she has. You don't want her to be boring. That's what you're saying. Nobody you know wants her to be boring. Nobody for, likes though? boring people. <laughs> you know what pre-calculus is uh -huh. for, though. What's it for? It's just I ways it. of critical thinking and figuring problem solving. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah really, I know. It's really not about. I know, but you get all the problem solving you need. Like you can get to algebra, and then you're good. Boring is safe for though. most people. Some huh? people like safe. Boring is safe. Yeah, Some but people. you don't like to be around nobody that's boring. I guess not. You'd be like, nah, man, that dude's boring, bro. Don't tell him where we're going. Well, I know. I try to be boring. So, I don't know. My wife might be sick of me. That might be the problem. But anyway. Nah, you can have fun at the house. You're just talking about, what, boring because you're a homebody? Yeah. Nah, you can sit at, you can sit at the house and have a great time. <laughs> Plus, you're not spending no money. Hit <laughs> 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 hit the garage apartment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, fellas, yesterday... Man, yesterday. Yesterday we had it we watched down. history yesterday. Lizically in the lizically. In the physical and <laughs> Lizically. <laughs> lizically. Virtual. Literally and physically. I guess that's what I was Figuratively. trying to say. Figuratively. Figuratively. I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. Virtually. Anyway, stay stay with me, y'all. Stay with me. So now, for those of you who don't know. Extremely heavy favorite and uh, what perennial heavyweight champion unified. Well, no, nah, he's current heavyweight. You know, well, he, he was. was. He was. Yeah. He was. Anthony Joshua was upset. Not only upset, was stopped. Was floored. Was floored. Did he quit? He kind of said he sore. quit in the corner. Kind of sore. Was floored. Well, put it like this. He didn't come out. He was definitely in the corner looking as if he did not want to continue. The referee was asking him to step forward, and he didn't. I know. Then he so was then when the referee stopped it, he was kind of like, no. But yeah, was, you got to do that. But look, right. But I've seen a bunch of people look happy when it stopped. It's like, yes, man. The, hey, man. Yeah. So look, the crazy part is like, he didn't, put up, he didn't put up much protest after that. It was kind of yeah. like, no. And then he was like, all right. Now you and then you can, up, see, yeah. you, can see, you can see the embarrassment on his face. Like, he looked like, oh. I can't believe I lost this fight. Man, that boy Ruiz. He should have. He was getting dominant. I mean, I know, we didn't really Ruiz see it. putting them hands on him. Man, I watched the replay this morning. Oh, I That's didn't. That's what I'm saying. I watched the replay I'd like to have seen it live. Though. Ru you get a Ruiz better. put them hands on him. Huh? So, yes, Andy Andy Ruiz Jr., Mexican fighter out of, I don't even know where he's from. Where is I mean, he's from? from California. He ain't Mexican. May he say he Mexican. He's Mexican-American. That's a, that's a lot of Cal Mexican-American. Mexican. Anyway, no, he claims there's himself. there's a lot of Americans in 
He claims himself as American, the first Mexican. ever Mexican heavyweight champion. Yeah. Okay. He unified all the belts except for the one Deontay Wilder. Yeah, but do we have to have this conversation again? As far as the man was born in California. All right. If his parents are Mexican, he Mexican. No, dude. he's not. What does his passport say? American. Canelo is Mexican. This dude's American. Was he born in Mexicali, California? No, he wasn't. He wasn't born in Baja, California. He was born in Alabama, California. Man, if his parents are Mexican, he is a Mexican American. He's exactly. a Mex- he's so a he's Mexican. American. He's Mexican. What you talking about? Mex- he's a Mexican champion descent. of Mexican descent. His nationality is American. Yes, his ethnicity is Hispanic. Exactly, Mexican, no, Hispanic. Mexi- no, Mexican is somebody in his family's nationality. <laughs> yes, his nationality. Either way it goes, okay. He's I'm still sorry. Mexican. No, he's not. He's Dude, American. If your parents, what are flag Mexican, does he fight under? He had the the Mexican flag under him. Yeah, I know, but exactly. I mean, like, seriously, he had the flag under him. That's pretty disrespectful. When <laughs> I looked up, dude was born in California. Today, okay, <laughs> that's pretty. Energy that's pretty today. disrespectful. He was under the Mexican Man, flag. Man, I'm saying he had the flag behind him oh, at his go. press conference. Very good, and all of that. All right. He anyway, All right. he put them hands on him though. He, he did, did. and what? it was probably one of the Whatever biggest upsets. <laughs> and that's ever. why that's why he ain't want to come out. He was like, "Say, I'm making a business. So I can get a rematch on this." He probably it was probably one of the biggest upsets we have seen since. He's like, Tyson. "But them hands tonight." Tell me about the throwing him out the ring because I heard Douglas. about that, but I didn't see it. The Tyson Buster Buck Douglas. You got upset. thrown out the ring. So now, yes, no, he didn't really get thrown out the ring. Now, like, so like I, Mr. T did Rocky. I think he truly, I think he truly caught Anthony Joshua off guard. Meaning, if anybody, if any of you all watched the fight, you know that uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. is is not body pretty. No. Nah. In fact, he's actually a very fat Mexican fighter. I know that sounded very. You silly. say, bet you won't say it to my face, though. Yeah, I wouldn't. Anyway. <laughs> Hey, he looks him. like his training is bar fight. He looks like yeah. his training is bar fight, yeah, and, like having a tough a, man fight. and having a beer afterwards. Yeah, no, he looked like he'd be on Tough hey, Man. Well, Remember saw, Tough Man? I, somebody had like a that. meme or something before the fight say uh, Ruiz looked like the man that mounts your TV on the low. And DRC asking where Facebook. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> man, look at Tell him to call in. I was going to say, he first off. Anyway, so... Uh, as far as him, L, I'll say so. So now, like my boy, my boy Ben say all the time, man, boxing is not a bodybuilding competition. No, no. So even as chiseled as Anthony Joshua is, who was that dude like a month or so ago that got knocked clean out? Uh, that fought in the Thurman card. I don't remember. He was all chiseled, and he was going against some uh, Viking looking. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> white man and the white man knocked oh, it. I was like, what? Uh, With the labeling. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, that's but anyway. I was like, but nah, what? But muscles don't really do you that good in fighting, man. I mean, I, I mean, they oh, do. No, they do you no, some good. No, no, they don't. Not in sport fighting. Because you got to feed those muscles, man. And you get tired quick, man. This is true. Well, that, anyway, as far as him Ruiz being knocked had out a the lot room. of carbohydrates. That, <laughs> that fight, that fight could have went 40 rounds. He still could have fed himself. Um... He caught him with a he caught him with a shot right behind the ear that the truly lasso. dazed him, and Joshua was still trying to hold on, and and he ended up turning to the ropes. Oh, that's the out of the ring. And then yeah, he fell. But it out. counted as a knockdown, right? It definitely counted oh, okay. as a knockdown. So, so he knew he was losing. Like he, he should have been surprised. Got knocked down four times. Four times, <laughs> really? He was knocked down four times. I was watching in the, the fight. fights in front of me, exactly. and then I saw the end. So when I watched the replay yeah. too, I was like, yo. The first knockdown, it was like, oh, wait, that's not the one he won? Yeah. Well, so Jeremiah then the second was watching one, it. He kept updating. The second knockdown, it was like, oh, wait, this is not the one he yeah. won on? And right. then the third, it was like, okay, this got to be it. No, no this is not the right. one. So then when he got, when the fourth one, it was like, oh, my God, dude. But, yes, after the fourth knockdown. There's no three knockdown rule anymore? Man, they was in New York. That's what that means. Mind you, this, no, this wasn't in the same round either. Yeah, you got so he knocked him down twice. Oh, mind you, I'm sorry, I, I got to mention. Anthony Joshua hits Ruiz and drops him first with a clean, I mean clean left hand. Put put 
put the weeds on Ruiz on the ground, and he you kind of went like, oh okay, this is over now. You gonna already know. All right, Anthony Joshua was getting ready to put him away. Man, Ruiz got up that same round, and like twenty seconds later, hit Anthony Joshua with a combination, and hit that boy behind his head. And you know how you do the the stomp when you when you off, and you man, that boy look like. R two D two, like Frankenstein. The, walk yes, through. he did the Frankenstein walk. He did the Frankenstein walk, and then he just kept barad- barading him with punches, and 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 he just finally fell to the ground. Yeah, that's big, man. So I think what really caught what caught Anthony Joshua off guard was Ruiz had some speed. Yeah, like he actually had hand speed, and okay, I don't think he a, anticipated. He's a the veteran hand speed. fighter, though. He is a veteran fighter, and he's known for his power. I think his first win was on a some type of upset. Like Ruiz is, he's been in the game for a minute. And he's been known for his hands. Now I watched his old highlights. Like yeah. heavy hands. He he's nah, a big nah, dude. Now nah, he's a really good boxer. He was nah, boxing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He he really he early in his career. I. I thought he would have been champion so much earlier. I had never heard of him. Never me either. Every knockdown he had in this fight was through combination. Yeah, I was like Chris. He Ariola's didn't throw. Skin he wasn't throwing haymakers trying to get I'm it over. With. I'm thinking of Ariola. I'm sorry. That's exactly who you're thinking about. Because but you know what's were funny? You really? He shaped just what like I tell him. Y'all about labeling people. Yeah, he shaped, he shaped like him. Is that why? Like him. No, is, is, is that what the confusion the, is? Because he shaped like him. Yes. In the face. That's he, the confusion. No. Yes. Huh? In the face. Yes. He, huh? So yes. Stavern, Stavern, if Stavern had fought, you would have been like, yeah. Well, uh, who, who, who shaped like Stavern? Both of them. Both of who? Both of the guys that we just mentioned. They're fat dudes. Well, <laughs> one is darker than the other. One. Ah! ah! <laughs> So it wasn't because they fat. See, you just told on yourself. No, it's I not true. They, they are shaped alike. Man, you confused them because the only both. difference is Chris Ariola's nose is as wide as his microphone. I yeah, mean, but what's the same about them? They got black hair. Okay, whatever. And they wear the same haircut. That's what I was telling you. They probably go to the same barber and they're from the same state. Oh. Yeah. They both from California. Yeah. It's a huge uh, state. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And they got similar tattoos. Ah, okay. And they trunks go about the same place on their stomach. Okay, well, yeah. All right. I'll give you that. We all know the real reason, though. Both y'all been labeled. Ruiz has much faster hands, though. Oh, he's 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 really. I mean, I know he was fighting. I guess tomato cans, and there's a highlight reel going around on Instagram. He actually fought tomato cans. You know what I'm talking about. I don't, so please yeah. clarify. People T- who tomato believe? cans. You know what a tomato can is? No. You never seen like Rage and Bull and all them old boxes? No. That's a bum. Yeah, I knew that. Right. I, people who bleed? Yeah, it's a tomato can. You open up a can of tomatoes, it's red everywhere. <laughs> That's what I assume it comes from, but it's from like the 20s. Like, yeah, it's a tomato can, see? Say. <laughs> You're going to go down in the fourth round. <laughs> in them old days of boxing. But Wyatt. did you see Joshua sitting up eating at a. Uh, Shout uh, out to Kerry Wagner. He was just drinking water, like chilling. Oh, he was by far the happiest I've ever seen anybody lose a fight. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like he's like this was so much pressure. Thank he you. was so he seemed so overjoyed Thank after you, brother. this fight. Thank you. He was like, hey, uh, to all of you who came <laughs> out to support me, I want to thank you all. Uh, uh, I'll be back. Uh, Ru- 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 Ruiz is an awesome champion, and and I will see you again, my friend. Yeah, he tripped out, man. So, yeah, he was definitely the most pleasant law, uh, champion I've ever seen lose his belt, ever. Now, you know, you're supposed to be gracious in defeat, too, but he almost seemed relieved yeah, like that it was he a, lost. Like it was a problem having the belt. It was and so then he much even weight. mentioned, he was like, I would rather it had been Wilder. Really? That's weird. He's like, I, yeah, exactly. I'd rather it had been Wilder. He'd but lost the Wilder? Well, because the dude asked him, you know, what, did you get caught overlooking Ruiz? Did you underestimate Ruiz thinking about... Dante Wild, and he was like, "Well, I I'd have rather it been Wilder." Okay, so yeah, this, but I mean, it's, a, it's still this, a dude. Was this me. like to you, uh, Norton Frazier? Oh God, you not situation. Not Norton Frazier. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it reminds me of. You know how everybody's been hyping the Wilder Joshua fight, right? Wilder Joshua fight, Wilder Joshua fight. Uh. It reminds me of Ali Frazier, and then Frazier loses the Foreman. Right. 
And then Ali, everybody was like, oh, Lord. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, and so then, yeah, Ali has to go fight Foreman. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going to end up happening. But, of course, if those of you who don't know, Wilder has already announced that he is going to fight Luis Ortiz first in a rematch, and then he's going to follow that fight up with a rematch with Tyson Fury. So now, of course, after the fight last night, Ru Ruiz... Louise Ortiz then tweeted out, you saw what happened to Joshua. Uh, don't overlook me. The same may happen oh, to man. Wilder. <laughs> so, dang it. that's where we at with that, man. Uh, we have a brand new heavyweight champion. He's unified in all but one belt. Uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. Uh, he does not have the body frame of a great champion, but he is a great champion, man. I was well, impressed. He is a champion. We'll yes. see how great he is. We'll, well I was going to say he is a champion. Thank nah, you. I know, I know. I know. He, I, he was, he, I mean, I was impressed with his hand speed. I was impressed with his boxing ability. Like I said, the way he dropped Joshua was through, um, Combinations. He truly outboxed Joshua. He floored him. He pressured him. He kept him off balance, and he put him down four times. Um, on that same card, he had some very entertaining fights. Um, Chris Al Gary Al Jerry Al Jerry. Yeah, Al -Jerry. Yeah, I don't know if y'all remember him. He was on that card. Yeah. He had a very impressive victory. Um, one where he was actually getting beat up, but he was able to. Come back and and beat his opponent. Um, who else? There was some um, <clears throat> some up and coming fighters. Uh, many it was many knockouts on this card. Um, also, we have a new unified women's I don't know what weight class she's in. Champion Katie Taylor, Kathy hey. Taylor, Katie Taylor, something. Katie like that. Taylor. She's the first ever Irish champion. Can you tell you high, high school? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a bunch of controversy about her victory because many felt like she didn't win it. However, she is the new unified champion. Um, so that's where we were nationally. Now, last night while all of that was going on, we were at... Next round up. Next fight next up. Fight I mean, next fight up. I'm sorry. Next, next fight fights up. up. <laughs> June 1st edition. June 1st edition. H-Town edition. The, 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 what, what do they call it? The Arabian the Shrine Center. The Arabian Shrine Center. No, what do they, they just call it next fight up. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, there was no up. name. Yeah. But force train promotions. Yeah, it wasn't like fight night in the 409. Yeah, just fight night good. in nah, Houston. Called, they didn't nah, do that. Just they didn't do that. Force Train Promotions presents Next Fight Up. Yeah, they were probably thinking of some of this. Like, we can't make nothing make sense. Absolutely. So, so there was a, a, it was an amazing night there. Um, oh, man, it was so much. The fun. atmosphere was incredible. The, the energy that was in the building, uh, they raised the roof. There were many celebrities there. Yeah. Uh, H-Town royalty such as... Willie D, former boxer, and of course, you know, hip hop well, come on. extraordinaire. The go for, yeah. Well, we'll it depends on where you're from. D. If you're from Fifth Ward, everybody know him as a boxer. Everybody knows him for making big money and driving big cars. The boy cars. D Mac on uh, but anyway, YouTube <laughs> Live. <laughs> D Mac. Uh, boy, say Willie Katie. D from the Ghetto Boys was there. Um, yeah. Former heavyweight champion Shannon Briggs was there. Yeah, he even man. announced that he is, is, is planning to fight here in Houston. Yeah. Um, and he even has plans on getting a fight with Anthony Wilder. Deontay Wilder? De oh, yeah, him. Yeah, I just put the two of them together, didn't I? Deontay Wilder. Yeah. Who else? And uh, Klitschko. Uh, Tracy McGrady was there. With Skip. With Rayford Skip to Malu Austin. Man, it was yeah, it went down. It was uh, it was nice. It was and nice. for those 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 uh this is for you, Hamad. Yeah, I'm calling you out. <laughs> those no, of you who are that, familiar, George. uh a young lady by the <laughs> no. name of Oh, no. What's her name? Rachel Star. Rachel yeah, Star. Rachel Star was there. Rachel Star was there as a and featured she was guest. In the house. 
And she was having an amazing time. Yeah, she was on that and she turn up. Let me leave that alone. I was gonna say she was, on like the she was trying to make sure others was having an amazing time. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I well, she's an entertainer. She so is truly an entertainer. That's what she's supposed to do. And the ring anyway. girls, the other ring girls were there. Yeah, the other <laughs> ring girls. <laughs> man, nah, well, yeah, I got you, but that, uh, man, the ring girls. And so we have we have footage, and we have yeah. uh, 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 some of our coverage from that on our on our uh, social medias. Be sure to check out our Instagram page. And our website. It will, we'll be posting and that will from be last on night our, on the website. Absolutely. It will be on our website. Um, next Fight Up always puts on a good event. That's the second event we have gone to. Yeah, it was packed too, man. Uh, sold out. They so, ran out of beer. Ran out of alcohol, period. They ran out of alcohol. They they had a, 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 look, they had a dance competition at the end of the night. Man. It was it was it was a real good night. It was a yeah, real I good look, man. Plenty so I encourage too. you all. The next, the next fight, the next, next fight up event, man. Y'all be sure to be there, man. It was truly, truly entertaining. Shout out to Alan Jaco. Uh, shout out to, to, uh, who was this promoted this one? Uh, it was, what, King's promotion. Well, Force Train promotion. Oh, oh, the same ones. Force Train promotions. Yeah, shout out to Force Train promotions. Yeah. Um, so now on the actual card. Our boy, friend of the show, Ralpho Trouble Ibokwe. I told y'all when that first man uh, last week lost. He came up short again. I told you when he the old boy lost and his name was Trouble. The dude that lost the Wilder. I'm sorry, baby. I'm trying. Dude uh, that lost the Wilder was named Trouble. Yeah. I was like, man, mm, my man's gonna have to change his name. Trouble's yeah, gonna have to change that. his name. Yeah, but nah, man. Uh, I mean, that was a good fight. It uh, was a good fight. It it was a very well contested, well. The guy he fought's real good. Yes, I mean, he's very savvy. I'm, I'm, he's boxing savvy. Yeah, I mean, it was very close. Uh, there was a controversial knockdown. What round was that? Four. I want to. Was that the fourth round? Yeah. Was it really the fourth? It's round? like fourth through six. One of those. It was a middle. It, it, it was an eight it. round fight, right? Yeah, it wasn't like too far late. It was like the fourth, third or fourth round. Maybe. So yes, Ralpho fought Gatan. What's his first name? Alex. Alexis. Alexis, Alexis. Gatan uh, in a rematch for the ABO Intercontinental Middleweight Title. Um, and much like the first fight, Gatan. Um, Outlasted. Sustained the, the 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 rush of trouble. Uh, trouble, of course, started out very well. Started out fast. Pressured him. Um, um, Guy Tan stayed composed and was able to take a decision. Uh, some believe a controversial decision, but you know, like Ralpho himself has said when he came to the show, don't let it don't go to the cards. Don't let it go to the cards. Don't and I always, I always, go every time it goes to the cards, like this man always says, don't, don't let, let it go, it to, go the cards. to the and cards. The last two that we've been at that have gone to the cards. And, and, and as a result of him letting it go to the cards, he can end up on the short end of the decision. There are also many, uh, other up and coming fighters, uh, the bill was filled with Houston fighters. I don't actually have a name. I was actually late, but my brothers held it down. The tribe held it down for me. That boy, pretty boy, fought. Pretty boy, who? Uh, from Ohio. Pretty boy from Ohio. That's his. Oh, uh, was he boy. the first fight? Yeah, he was, he was the, the one fight. I missed. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah oh, him. Yeah. yeah. No, say it in the mic. I will not. <laughs> I will not. I'm sure it got picked up anyway. Pretty boy, yeah. pretty boy, he was the f- first fight. Okay, pretty name? boy always opens it up. He's a leadoff man. It was a fir- it was a four rounder. Did he you win? Know what I'm yeah, I'm he sure won. he died. All right. it, yeah. uh, oh, no. it looked like he was getting back into it. Oh, like he hadn't fought since the last yeah, time. Yeah, so like it's like it like he's been off a little bit. It wasn't a true dominant. I mean, he won, right. but it wasn't in a fashion that we saw him in before. We were able to run into some of our 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 familiar friends. Some uh, we got to see Bang Williams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out of Florida, he was there. <laughs> we ran into the oh, the WBC shot. silver champion, lightweight silver champion, uh, Oshaki. 
Foster. Yeah. And he stopped by and hollered at us. Yeah. Uh, uh, who else? Silverback Gorilla was there. Oh, God. Yeah, he was. Homeboy. What's his real name? I don't know. Homeboy from <laughs> Beaumont. <laughs> He got the knockout. Who? Uh, so who got the knockout of the night? It was uh, a young cat. From, what was his uh, name? He got the thousand. Was this dude here? Yeah, he had a gigantic head. It was the dude with the gigantic head. Really, man? That dude. Man, look here, bro. Wasn't it this dude? It was the dude with the gigantic head. Who got the biggest head on the flight? Stop it, man. <laughs> Was it was it the one with the R.P. nip on the? Oh, no, no, let me no, see. No, 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 no it, it wasn't him. him. It wasn't Although him. he put on an amazing dance routine <laughs> <laughs> for the people uh, after his speech. Uh, yeah, I know. after his speech. Yeah, that was the uh, boy was like, I want some bounce music. Yeah, uh, that boy D Max say, Ah, oh, Rachel Star, I hate I missed that. <laughs> 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 Did he say that? He just said that. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> this cat right here. Who's this dude right here? That's who won the million dollars. I mean, million dollars. Yeah, right. The thousand dollars. I don't, don't have no names on it. No, not on, not on that one. I got. I would pull up the uh, I was like, don't you have card, a but card. No, it's on. It's on the phone that's running the Mebo. Oh, uh, well, anyway, so yes, it was an awesome event. Um. Um. Next time y'all have an opportunity to go to a next Fight Up event, be sure to be there. I think you would absolutely love it. Yeah, hit the website. We're going to do a recap. Of course, we're going to have a highlight video again on YouTube. Absolutely. We're going to be sure to put that on our yeah, website. I, mean, I think that's from YouTube. a nice angle, too. We got some good angles on For that you one. guys. Yeah, we were up close and personal. We got some of that snot and that sweat on us. I don't know about snot. Uh, yeah, you don't sure. know all that was hitting you yeah. But anyway, we were there We were in the building So now, we have had quite A few uh, Big, big, big things happen This week, recently uh, In Brazil, Neymar Thought he quit? You retired? I saw him Actually, he has been He has been accused of rape again oh, yeah. Jesus, Neymar? He has been accused He's of rape like, yeah. This time in Paris Oh, man. Uh, yeah, he plays for PSG. Uh, and he has been accused of rape. Uh, and whew, that is just, it's just, even mentioning that is just uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, they're not Brazilian out there, Neymar. I'm sorry. What? What does that even mean? What oh. are we doing today, <laughs> fellas? What are we doing today? What does what? that mean? I don't know, man. That's y'all with the uh, new jack, with, with the little. Uh, I know you didn't as much as you always. As much as I do, uh, you tap dance on the line. I never tap. <laughs> I'm just the, saying. Not only do you tap dance on the line, you even go so far as to almost piss over it. Oh no! no I mean, no, I'm no, just no, saying. No. Brazilians are Brazilians. They Wait, do different. Oh, yeah. They they culture's a bit different. Okay. Yeah. I'm not what? saying it's rape culture. I'm just saying. Who, I don't know the what details. What are you of, saying? You said it. So I don't you know saying? the details of this. Of this case in here that they are speaking of. So what did you mean when you said this is not? I mean, Brazil? you can't just be whatever he did. You can't just be doing that. If right. it's so, you meaning because he, you, you think he probably gets away with a number of things in Brazil because of who he is? Probably, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you want to say with that. But yeah, Neymar. Uh, well, I mean, even. I mean, I don't condone. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I guess that's big. But the big thing is Liverpool won Champions League yesterday. If you want to talk Liverpool soccer. Liverpool did so, win Champions never League walk alone. yesterday. Instead of talking about it, you know. Never walk alone. Yeah, you'll never walk alone. Mm. Yep. Defeated Tottenham Hotspur. <laughs> it was a pretty boring game, but. Uh, it was a. Controversial penalty kick was Liverpool's first goal. All penalty kicks. Yeah, but they wouldn't like they won by one goal. Yeah, I mean they got, but I mean they were up by one goal, which changes the whole game. They were up by one goal because they got gifted one. Why does it change the whole game? Because they got one. Like, so why not go get another one? That means you have to go get a goal. That changes the whole game. One goal is like going up by 20 in a basketball game. It's not. Yes, it's the same exact thing because you're not scoring that many goals. Well, that's why I'm saying maybe people, maybe they should become more aggressive when they're down one goal. They do, and then that's how you get scored on. 
It's a counterattack. Plus, Tottenham is not that good. Like yeah, that. They, I mean, they got there. I'm not hating on them. I mean, you know, yeah, but they're I'm top four st- team in England. Their style of play. I mean, I hate Tottenham. You know, I'm an Arsenal fan, but whatever. Their style you know? of play is not. Their style of play ain't what? Very technical. It is a very, it's a rough, Tottenham's a rough watch. Nah, man. They're very entertaining. I, I love Danny Rose. I wish he was on my team. I really well, I do. imagine everybody from Arsenal need a whole bunch of people on their team. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine there's a bunch of players you want on Arsenal, wouldn't you? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them, man. I mean, you know, but uh, they made a European final this year. They lost. But <laughs> they made it. They made the final. Oh, damn, they got a trophy again. Oh, man, right. man, man. So it's going to be a very busy summer for them. Anyway. I know a lot of y'all went to sleep on that, but I love it. Absolutely. Well, we're going to keep them sleeping because, hey, also, the, the Astros are rolling right oh, now. Oh, hold on. Let's go to the Astros. But since we were, th- that was our international sports break. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> the Sabercats finished 4 0. The Sabercats. Hey. They after win after having night. a coaching change and finally opening their stadium. Having a grand opening and then a rescheduled grand opening. Thank you, DRC. One goal is huge. It, I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying, but it ain't. It's not the death penalty. It's it is one the goal. Death penalty. Do, do, do you under, okay? You, you understand, you, like Italy. You know the country, Italy. They play soccer. Like that's what they're known for. I they're known for scoring. Care. They're known it's for one scoring goal. one goal, and then they play defense and they beat every. When they won the World Cup, it's one nothing. Exactly. That's why right. nobody in America watches soccer. No, it's a beautiful thing to watch when you know what you're watching. The turnover rate is absolutely too high, and they are not aggressive enough as far as getting goals. They're very aggressive. Getting no, goals man. is hard because you expose it, it yourself is difficult. at the back. It is difficult. I'm not saying it's not difficult, but it can be done if you try to go get goals. Yeah, and then they're going to go get goals. Look, man, there's a reason so why. So when, when, when was the second goal scored? In what minute? Oh, shoot. The like 83rd 80 minute, second, right? Yeah, 82nd or something really? like that. Yeah. Really? So mm-hmm. you gonna blame them being down one nothing when you don't give up another goal until the eighty third minute? Well, no, I'm not. Bl- I mean, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. They, you know how many games in one nothing? They couldn't. When score. did they get the first goal? What minute? Well, I don't know. It was early on. Early on. Like twenty fifth. So you had like, like over seventy minutes to go get another goal. Right. You didn't do it, and then you try to say, "Well, it changes the game completely." After seventy plus minutes. Yeah. Tottenham did not. It After the seventy game. plus minutes, hey. you realize games end zero zero, right? All yes, the time. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So, against the soccer top teams is, in the world. No, it's p- not. When you know what you're watching, I know exactly what I'm no, watching. You don't. Yes, I do, and that's why I'm telling you a lot of other people don't watch it because you can get one goal. Go oh. get it. Well, they don't have to watch it. I mean, it's okay. I mean, Go it's, get the goal. Sabercats play eighty minutes, and it's kind of hard for them to score a goal. It no, hasn't been not. lately. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, we've seen. Well, yes, we. Have, well, but just, you, you haven't not seen goals. <laughs> exactly. You've seen the other team get many <laughs> goals. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we That's have right. Seen with they might have rightened their ship. Yeah, we'll see. Shout next out year. to the Houston SaberCats. Shout out to the SaberCats. Absolutely, finishing the season under their new coach four and one. Because they did lose their first game under that. Yeah. Coach. Four and one. Um, and hopefully they can build upon that, and and hey, maybe we'll have a championship game here in town next year. That'd be cool. Uh, so yes, Astros. What are you doing? Yeah, Astros. Jason Verlander surpassed Cy Young in the all-time strikeout list. Yeah. Uh, the Astros, of course, are rolling. They are extending their lead in. The AL West division. And once again, our star's uh, shortstop is hurt. Yeah, oh God. He, and those of you who don't know, uh, Carlos Correa was injured getting a massage. At home. He broke a rib. Yeah, it was a Thai massage. So. Receiving a Thai massage. At yeah. home. That's where people walk on your back and stuff. So it's just very possible that that's what happened. I just don't understand why you're getting it, period. I don't either. That's stupid. In the middle of the season. They should find him for that, for real, because I know they got people that they pay <laughs> to, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to give massages to their players. I would imagine so. So, yeah. I mean, was, we used to get massages sick. at our school at the, Arizona. The, the, the Astros somehow were extremely banged up. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, Baseball's a rough sport, man. Yeah, it sure is. Why it's do you always put it down? 
You because you sit, Sunday, you literally sit on, on you literally sit on your butt and stand still. But ball. you do it 162 times a year. Sometimes until a ball comes five five times until a, a ball comes towards you, you literally are doing nothing. You're kicking dirt around. Hey. Until a ball is hit towards I mean, you. Yes. Now, granted, in that one moment, you have to exert a lot of energy. Extreme amount of energy. You have to dive. You got to hit walls. And that ball is hard. You sliding all them times. Yeah, man. but you saying 162 times. I think out of them 162 okay, so games, you might actually get a ball hit to you less. Seven, eight times a season? Let's transition to this, man, though. So, what do you think? Seven, eight times a season? Are you serious? <laughs> so, what do you think? <laughs> what? So- are you trying- what? <laughs> No, way more. Judd than that. Cruck even said you don't have to be an athlete to play professional baseball. No, you don't. You don't necessarily have to. You, ha- you have to be very skilled, though. So why are they getting such athletic injuries? Because not- you don't have to be an athlete to get an athletic well, injury. Well, first <laughs> if you off. some dude that's not in good shape, I mean, you not me, and you're trying to run after the ball, you, you just, it might come out of socket <laughs> on your Carlos, way there. Carlos it Correa is what it is. That's probably part of the problem. It's very athletic, though. Carlos Correa is very athletic. Yeah, but baseball is always all kind of freak injuries, though. That's where the stupid That's what I don't understand. Up. Like, it's crazy. Like, dudes get hurt at home a lot. Yeah, baseball. like falling through tables. and Yeah, falling through tables. Falling off treadmills. Yeah. And, like, that, the fingers. injuries. Now, who cutting off fingers, hurt? cooking. And now, like, somebody like, got hurt stepping off the, um, uh, stepping off, uh. Who was that got hurt? I gotta look that up. Somebody Stepping got hurt. Stepping off the curb or something Stepping like that, the right? Curb, I'm yeah. telling you, man, they get the up. they get the craziest injuries ever. Yeah, they get like workers' that, um, comp injuries, so and it's it? like, what's going on, man? Where people be faking that workers' comp? And then they get the most they get. money. Like you, 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 you a two hundred million dollar player, and you out because your buttocks is man, tight because I, you. I've got to because yeah, he doesn't stretch too well. Oh man, it's ridiculous. Anyway, nah, what do you think about the? Uh, the discussion about the Nets going down, going further oh, down. Oh, yeah, because of the baby that got hit. Because of the baby. Extremely hard ball. Uh, coming very fast. Meaning extending? Yes. Yeah. All, the way down, all, all the way down, down, the, down the, 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 the third. And third As a fan, I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, but I understand. I understand. Why don't you like it? As a fan. Well, because you can't. I mean, that's not how you watch baseball. That's not how I grew up watching baseball. And a lot of people go to the games for the possibility of catching a foul ball. Yeah, but you know who likes it? Insurance company. That's what I said. I get it. <laughs> I totally understand. <laughs> like, put that net down there. We're going to have to get them people some money. I totally understand why teams uh, why teams are considering it. Um, I saw a lady get hit with a hockey puck. Because player. at the same time, I have seen many fans also get Binged. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be binged. Do you know that those pop ups that come back that that ball's coming down pretty yeah, remember the south they, the I mean, they, got out the way? Yeah, they also you know they lose grip of their bats. Bats go into the stands. I get it. Yeah. But being a fan, Ooh, my, one, my question one who also loves, was one who loves to get as close as possible to the action. My question also, my this was my my I guess uh Devil's advocate question: Like, why do you have a child that young down there? Well, people well, get go tickets. To the I game. mean, nobody That's thinks about that, and especially if you really don't know. Like, we, we did the exact same thing at the Southland Cup. We literally had three babies behind with the us behind though. behind the net, though. Yeah, it's the net. Behind so the, behind the net, though. ain't no ball coming through that net. Exactly. Actually, a ball did go through that. Net. They it went through it the it. other way. <laughs> they, they put it through. through. They, they, we, we, we had four boys. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> four boys under the age of ten. They was wilding out. Like <laughs> <laughs> they, they found was wilding out on y'all because y'all was fueling them with. Oh God! No, gasoline. you weren't. What are you? Y'all what? gave them gasoline. I didn't give them anything. Uh, they uncle, they wonderful uncle gave uh, them ice cream. Oh, uh, well, we did and, give them Sprite. But yeah. And and full can whole cans of Sprite. Yeah. Y'all know how many cans was in the press box? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, we got a baseball nobody game. Was, you know it was so saying? many cans of, of Sprite. And, and <laughs> By the I time I miss that, that's what I miss. I want to go back to another. <laughs> I love the press box because <laughs> it's just free stuff in there. Chicken sandwiches, all kind of dope. Oh man. I mean, honestly, oh like, man, it's, the it's, press box. Uh, you know. Where was this my whole life? I, I know. Right? Just, we should have been uh, journalists a long time ago. Oh right? God, I should have done this so much earlier. I'm just saying. I should have dropped out and started doing this. Oh no, right? Ain't no telling where we'd be if we'd have started earlier. No. Oh, I mean, I'd, I'd at least be pulling some sort of paycheck with the Southland. This is true. 
Anywho. Or somebody. You're now listening to the garage. Yeah, you, you are. are now listening to the garage apartment. You're 44 to minutes in, you know what I'm saying? We are here each and every Sunday night from that 6 to 7 Central Standard Time. Yeah, but the Astros currently. Uh, Shout out to Mount Billard, too. Yeah. Saw him yesterday. I mean, yeah, yesterday. he wasn't at the fight. Yesterday. He should have been there. Yesterday. That's a tall man. Ah, oh, thank you. And it's shout out to Wade Smith, man, for coming by. Yeah. Yes, that was a very generous. Uh, Those of you deed. who missed it. Yeah, he was a very engaging man. Go check that out on YouTube. Yeah, Absolutely. check out his foundation, man. All right, check out his foundation. But check out our interview. Yes. I, we, we got a real good interview with him. We like, actually he, have he a talked, very good interview. With him. Like, he was very open. He talked about things in the locker room. The heck yeah. Talked about it, 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 when Gamal was like, why are these two, why are the Jets and the Dolphins such so trash? They're like, Jesus. <laughs> they, but are they not still? to be in that? I, I could have yeah, put the know, Bills in mean, there too. Yeah, like, geez, why man. are all three? Why all three of them trash? Yeah. And there's only one team, one team out of the whole division. Yeah. Well, he answered your question. Yeah, huh? He did. Not, somewhat, but not really. He did though. He was more honest than a lot of other people. Yes, are. I mean, he, he called out like bad. That's because he retired now. He ain't got nothing. But to still, a about. lot of people be real. You know what I'm saying? They overly like. But I, you know, I mean, he's got the people. He's with. Plus, you know, like he talk, like he told he's friends with Arian Foster, so he don't care. <laughs> exactly. That's his homie. Dudes that speak their mind. Uh, that's what I like about. Him. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Arian Foster, but uh, Wade Smith was a fantastic interview. Please check that interview out, man. That was a very good interview. Like you got a lot of insight uh, into his his growth, his career. It was very it was very engaging conversation. He was an engaging man. So yes. I, I wanted to talk to him about a whole lot more, but you know. Yeah, we only we got only an, hour, an hour, man. So uh, yeah, that's where we are right now. We talked about Matt on. Shaw's mental, pro- well, you know, his, his mental state during the pick six <laughs> era, <laughs> the pick six time moment. Absolutely. That was an amazing time in sports, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I didn't finish. I, I'm sorry. I didn't finish my baseball recap because okay. I was also talking about uh, the defending champions, the Boston Red Sox, are stinking up the place. They have now fallen back to 500. Mm-hmm. Uh, they thought they had right in the ship, and now they have fallen back to 500 after losing uh, last night. Uh, well, Chris Zale is who we thought he was. <laughs> Yeah, but what's up with Mookie, though? Man, I wish we had the Facebook up. Uh-huh. I, 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 I want Kenneth to be commenting on this when we talk about the Red Sox sucker. I know. Like, yeah. you know, what's up with Mookie, man? Mookie. What else? The Cubs are stinking up the place. They were swept this weekend. Yeah, they came down here and got a. They're the Cubs. Yeah, they were swept this weekend by the St. Louis Cardinals. They, they're, they're the Cubs. I don't really expect much from them. Yeah, Indians. but they are a very talented team. They yeah. have no business to be losing the way they are losing. Are they really talented? They are very talented. Who's you better talented? look at their rast- roster. Who's talented? They I got Hayward. Really? They have he's John Lester. Out, he's flamed out. He flamed out in Philly. Oh, no, he did. Yeah, he did. John. Well, I don't remember him. John Lester, the pitcher. Him. Oh, you talking about John Lester? <laughs> no, um, I'm talking about uh, Hayward. He flamed out in Philly after Atlanta. I don't Atlanta. Even remember Hayward playing in Philly. See. Uh. I remember him going to Atlanta Chicago and after Atlanta. Was I don't it? remember him going to Philly. And then no, right he after was Chicago, Philly. he signed with he was St. In Philly, Louis. I believe. He I signed believe with not. St. Louis. Anyway, he might have because I do remember he, he – he, I was like, man, he likes to go to Division Foes. Anyway. <laughs> um, you go – you're a mercenary. You go to who pays you. <laughs> they don't have no lawyer. But no, like – he always goes to a Division Four of his team, so he might have gone to Philly after that. Because he started off with Atlanta. He might have gone to Philly, and then he went to Chicago, and then after Chicago, he went to St. Louis. So, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, uh, who else is on the team? They got the big dude. Who? Uh, that's how good he is. You don't even know. Well, that's because I, I never actually learned his name, but he hits the ball well. Again, the one who <laughs> so good. the one who tore his knee up and then played in the World Series that no. same season. Who? Man, I don't know the boy's name, exactly. man. Anyway, they got a very <laughs> talented team. He ain't that good. Well, well, it's Chicago. I don't keep up with the Cubs, but they have a talented team. They you should be playing. I miss that division. I do, too. I really do. Yeah. I miss the National League. I do. I don't yeah. like the American League. I think it sucks. Yeah. Even with the DH. Well, even the with DH the Yankees. Right. Even with the Yankees coming to town five times a year, and Boston, and 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 then the A's. 
And boy, boy the day of the yeah, Bash Brothers the are the day of the Bash Brothers are long gone, man. The A's like stink. I mean, well, they. Sh- I mean, they're they're five hundred. I mean, but they should. I mean, they're, they're a small market team. They're in Oakland. Yeah. <laughs> In eighty nine they were small market team. In eighty eight yeah, they were small, small market, market team. team but uh, eighty nine they were doing steroids. Yeah, but people were he was winning championships. Nah, Ricky but Henderson. the league like And then like, they got swept by the Reds. Yeah, but like back then that was before. They was winning championships. Yeah, they were winning championships. They won what? One, two? They won two. one. They Nobody was spending six hundred million on a roster. <laughs> like, every team had its own kind of self imposed salary cap. We ain't paying them this. So you could have players, but when the arms race started Teams like Oakland can't compete. I'm just like, because there's know, no salary I know the people cap. In, I know the people in Oakland are tripping. Like, then like, they went to that. Where's Vital Blue? Where's Reggie Jackson? Where's Raleigh Fingers? The, 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 Where's Ricky Henderson? You mean the people who drive into Oakland to go to the game? <laughs> Where's Tony LaRusso? I guarantee you, ain't nobody in East Oakland tripping <laughs> about the A's being bad. <laughs> They're trying to survive. I hear that. <laughs> They're pimping. That. They're pimping. <laughs> So now we got game two of the Street NBA racing. Finals. Tonight. Man, Toronto. Now, hold on, hold on. The Astros are in the 11th inning, man. Yeah, against two. The against the Oakland A's. Yeah, <laughs> man. Against a team you just called trash. They got 10 hits on us. What? Plus, they had the home run uh, king. Me and, my wife, me and my wife were watching them the other night, and I, uh, they actually were playing very well. The A's were, and they were up 2 nothing, And it was like, I don't know, I had fallen asleep. I couldn't stay up any longer. And then I woke up the next morning and saw the Strohs. They come back and won. I was like, this wow. was last night? No, this was Friday night. Friday night, Friday Jesus, night they won. Friday yeah. night. Last night they won, too. Last the night Strohs. they won also, They won 5-4. Yeah. The Astros are persevering through this little uh, period of They are. Been, so imagine like, what they're going to be when they come back. Correa's yeah. out six to four, four to six weeks. I but know. they have some young Stringer people. is out for a lengthy uh, amount of time. Stringer got hurt. Springer. Springer got hurt. Yeah. Uh-huh. The only one we got now, oh, right now, is Berkman. I mean, not Bregman. 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 Altuve's out? Altuve's out. Altuve's out. And they're talking about. I mean, but we got a nice second baseman. <laughs> that, that backup kid. Talking about the pretty, youngster? Yeah, he's nice. Um, yeah, a lot of the young kids, are they're really hitting the ball very well. Have they brought anybody up? They brought a couple of them up. Really? Um, and they're hitting the ball. They're actually ones who are. are Helping the Strolls win right now. All the right. young bats. That's good. I mean, they're going to be straight in playoffs now. Uh, Chirinos is playing well. Brantley is doing okay. Uh, what's my boy with the hair? He don't have his hair this year. Ooh. Reddick is crushing the ball right oh, now. Oh, there it is. He's crushing the ball right <laughs> now. Marisnik, every now and then, he Marisnik. comes in and makes something happen. I mean, that's what he's for. Yeah, pretty much. That's what they bring him in for. Wild boy to come die for the ball. Um, hit a home and, run of course, team. the pitching staff, you know, as long as they Blame. keep the runs down, Blame. the Astros got a chance. I mean, they got – Verlander is dominating in the mound. Cole, although he is struggling a tad bit, he is still getting strikeouts. Um, I don't even know who our third, fourth, and fifth pitchers are. Uh, McHugh. Peacock. McHugh. Is McHugh play pitching? Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know what he's doing. Peacock pitched the other night. He actually pitched well, though. I was, you know. Apparently, was they're all him. winning. Yeah. Because we're like almost what twenty games over five hundred. Yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. I just thought of something. What's that? Uh, n- n- really? Uh, yeah. Uh, off camera talk. Be in the moment, sir. Be in the moment. I know, but no, I just looked at the date. But uh. <laughs> um. So, yeah, we got a few minutes to talk about the finals. <laughs> yeah, so now. What y'all think about that? I uh, told y'all. Actually, I got a question for you all. They don't want Kawhi, man. The I was just going to well, I guess you're already answering my question. They don't are want you, Kawhi. Are you drinking? Are yeah, you uh, drinking? Uh, what? Are you drinking that that fool's gold that was go, game one? Yeah. Was it really fool's, fool's gold? Because they hadn't lost this year to them. Who hadn't lost it in Toronto? It well, doesn't twice. count. They only play them twice. Once in Toronto, one in Oakland. And they d- haven't w- lost yet. They played them a third time. Haven't I told lost you, regular yet. season, that doesn't really mean anything. It's okay. tricky. First first game. They did no, not it lose. is because it's 82 games. I mean, and, you know, it might have been off the back to You back. don't know when you hit them. One you know team may not have played the night before. The other one might have played the night before. No, I don't take stock It might have been their fourth either. game in five days. <laughs> no, but I take like, stock into what I saw. Them boys had when nine days off. Game. 
Yeah, and I think that might have been a the problem. They probably had too many days off. But I watched nine days game. off, and Boogie came back. Yeah, but he. I mean, Boogie did exactly what he was expected to do. Really, what Boogie was he expecting? Suck and win. Mm-hmm. You know what? Okay, so the Warriors right now have the same problem as the Rockets did in their games. Yeah, they're playing. Okay. What was that? They need an extra person to score at least fifteen points, <laughs> and they don't have it. We could all use that. They don't have it. They've got three players who should that be. That cannot I mean, yeah, score 50. Players, but the core of that team has already won rings. Okay. Even with Dallas there. Uh, who's going to score? Besides the Splash Brothers, who's going to score 15 points? What? I mean, they got. Name Iguodala somebody. Can score. <laughs> no, he can't. Yes, he can. Not he against, against the Rockets. Can get, he can get you 15. Uh, against the Ro- he, he can't do 21. it against Toronto. He, they said he, in that game, that first game, he was telling Kerr, my knees are shot. And they say he's going to be banged up tonight as he plays. So, but, uh, he's not giving you 15 points. He might give you 15. Now, the question is, uh, defensively, what they going to do with Siakam. Yeah. And Kawhi. Because um, Kawhi, well, Kawhi didn't him. play well in game one. He, so still, we'll, he played well enough. We'll see. I mean, he still got, I mean, what, 27 yeah, he still points? Yeah, yeah, he had, no, one, he, he had he, one of those <laughs> hard games. So he like, played pretty he good. shot horribly, but he still ended. You're like, how you get 25 points? Yeah, he went to the line. He went twelve for twelve at the line, and and yeah, he had several rebounds and and shut whoever he was defensively, playing defensively. He was Kawhi Leonard, so I mean, I guess so, man. But I, I guess I and I, Mark Gasol. It's just yeah. too early. To, it's too early to call. Of course, it's six. I mean, it's always too early to call. Like I think you know, I mean, they got to win tonight. So if Golden State wins tonight, what do you say? It's a tied up. Well, series. It's a tied up series, and, and then Toronto they go to Golden State, State for to, two. Yeah. Okay. What if Golden State loses tonight? What are you? I mean, saying? you still have home court advantage. It doesn't mean a thing. Oh, doesn't it mean means thing. plenty. It no, means it plenty. Oh, two. They've never been down. Oh, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that, that's oh, two on the road. So, if, man, if they go down oh, two on the road. Now, if they go down oh, two at home, then you go. Oh, they've never been on the road. Every time they won a championship, they've never been on the road. Yeah, that don't mean nothing though. Because remember, they were up. They were up oh, two against Houston. Lost two in a row in Houston and went back and won two more. That was Houston. That's what I'm saying. It's Toronto now. Yes. Don't get me wrong. I want Toronto to win. I do not like the Golden State Plus, Warriors. even the, as bad as Kyle Lowry shoots, he still can bang him up and de- defend uh, Curry. Another That's all they got to do is make Curry play defense. That's it. And every run, time Curry and has clay to play defense, line. every time Curry has to play defense, he does not shoot well. And run Clay off the line. If you run him off the line. So, I mean, we'll see that tonight, man. Uh. I still see Siakam still being more athletic and scoring more than Draymond. And I, I, think I don't. I don't see Siakam dropping thirty-two points. No, I didn't say that. I mean, Draymond was. I'm saying 10 I don't. I, 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 you might be right, but I'm saying as far as he he won't give them that exact same game again. I mean, okay, but if he gave me twenty, I'm not tripping because Draymond gave me ten. I don't care what Dream ten. Draymond always gives you ten. Exactly, but he gives you ten, 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 and ten. But his ten, ten, <laughs> ten, his his Jason Kidd triple double don't work. Yeah, it does. Not yeah, it, it works. As man. Portland, it didn't work like last game. I think that. I mean, like you said, that was just the hey, that was the bit of rust from being uh, being out nine games, nine uh, no, days. It's rust. They were playing on the road. They got everybody healthy. What happened to that? They don't have everybody. They healthy. got everybody who who could play healthy. Man, they got everybody who can play healthy. No, they they got got everybody who can Durant's play. Not healthy. He right. can't, Durant, Durant can't play. Durant can't play. Boogie Cousins but if you're is not healthy. You can't play. <laughs> Boogie Cousins is not healthy. He's no, he's out he's, of shape. He's, he's out of shape, and uh, he ain't gonna do nothing for him. Uh, I mean, what's but his the, name? The, the uh, core of this team won championships already. Uh, Iggy is not healthy. He doesn't have. Uh, okay. Iggy don't start, does he? He he yeah, still plays very significant important. minutes. Yeah, six man. He's very. Well, okay, Livingston, he's healthy. He can't get him. Yeah, but we talking about Livingston. <laughs> now we talking about. I mean, all oh, he can do is shoot. Of somebody who can score fifteen. We got nine, we got we got sixty no, seconds. He can't, he, he can't score. All right, 15, we got either. sixty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> he can't score fifteen, yo. Well, thank everybody for uh, rocking with us tonight. I'm sorry about Facebook. 
Yeah. We had a software malfunction. Yeah, man. I don't know, know if it's what? my tablet or what, man. My we gonna, we gonna get some of this stuff together, y'all. We 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 you know we're going to definitely redirect our focus on. Yeah, happy summer, everybody. Getting our 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 production together for you all. We appreciate again, like Ahmad said, we appreciate each and every one of you rocking with us. You are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night from six to seven Central Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website, thegarageapt.com. Um, be checking those out. Be looking for our footage from the fights. Also, we still going to put some Southland coverage on there. And uh, be looking for a midweek.